At the launching of the PMIZ project on Tuesday, the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill acknowledged the Trade and Commerce Minister Richard Maru's announcement of a total of 30,000 jobs to be created by the project. Also, Minister Maru, total 30,000 jobs. 30,000 jobs and one plus money work for this lab. I mean, I'm look at them four plus, at least four or five plus picking in the inside of family blend. And yet, Mary Blend or Man Blend, one time two or three people are Suppose you double this number, I must man Mary by this factory and this business below you, but look at them. Over 150,000 people. According to the Medang People's Forum chairman, Alfred Kaket, the people are now querying the promises made at the launching. 10,000 with Governor Blow Medang, Itokloem, Honorable Jim Castokloem, and the come out Medang. I think throughout the Medang province. But question from the people from Medang, the 20,000 number come with. Come from Papua New Guinea or come from Asia or on the map. So, Minister of uh, Trade, Commerce and Industry, please, you come out clear and talk out straight to the people from Medang. Kaket says they would like to know the terms and conditions of getting a 200 million kina loan from China. Government exchange the loan. Only more kind of some requirements how lo this la loan or only kissim lo this la action bank. I'm how I'm by back him. This la people blow madang people blow papa you need to need lo sawe. This is also stressed by Chris Cassiam, a Vidar landowner. Peter O'Neill, please, me like him, you know, Richard Maru must work him clear on this law because inside on this law, Exim Bank, some of the terms and the conditions, I'm talking about them. The PMIJ area, I'm by only Ronin being in low China. And then you as a prime minister, how would you feel when that area is governed by Chinese law and you have your own law? It's a shame for me as a local guy at home. Me feel him no good through here. Lo, you mean him one part of that one part of that province being in low blood China, now the rest lo Papua New Guinea law. Kassiam is also questioning the percentage that landowners will get from the revenue generated by the project. PMI said Bill point one one one. Where Prime Minister, you will have been guessing him long. Parliament, I'm talking some ninety five percent. This like two billion where you come now you launch him long Tuesday. That belong all investors. 3% and Babylon national government, 2% and Babylon provincial government. What about the land owners? The Prime Minister, Peter O'Neill, at the launching mentioned that the government will assign officials to attend to people's queries at the site. On Solomon, the Emilio Department, but come and stop here and work with more people. So make him sure work is all right. Make him sure work is all right. And good luck also, my man, talk so well. That's all. Sit down on the table and talk now. You may have them to talk to you come and good luck away. Now can you delay this project for another 11 years. However, the landowners still demand to have a proper dialogue with the government. I'm delay 11 years. I'm a delay yet. No matter what, I'm a delay yet. Need to no care whether I'm 11 years or 20 years or 100 years delay. We will still continue until we walk out. Rachel Shise, National MTV News, Medang.